Okay, I've been burning this thing for about two, uh, two hours, two and a half hours. It's still got steam coming out the side. So clearly I didn't let it dry long enough. I think I let it dry for about three, three and a half weeks. The guy I saw on YouTube that I got this idea from said about a month, but I'm too impatient for that, so. I am seeing a crack right along here. It's holding up. It's not falling apart yet. It's getting warm. I'm trying to burn all the moisture out of this thing. So I'm just going to let it burn and burn and burn until I don't see any more steam. See that steam coming up. But, uh, this is one that you definitely want to, if you're not going to have it surrounded by metal and leave it in the metal, like this one over here, this one's going to stay, it's going to stay in the metal. So even if it cracks, it won't matter much. This one's not reinforced. This is just an isopropanol container. I saved from work. This one I just threw together with a kitty litter box, some old cardboard cellophane cores from work. And this one, this one's going to stay in the metal container too. So if it cracks when this metal burns out, it won't matter because this metal will burn out. This definitely will burn out. And that was the plan on that one. It'll burn out and leave the burn tube in there. But this one and this one will be fine because it's surrounded by metal and it's going to stay in the metal, so cracks won't matter. This one, however, there's nothing really supporting the outside. So with them cracks on the side, I got a little hairline crack in the front. It may not. Be I don't think it's cracked through. I don't see any cracks inside there or anything, but if you're gonna make them like this with no, you know, with, with the five gallon bucket thing, and you're gonna take the bucket off. I cut the sides off like the guy I saw on YouTube did it. I basically copied his idea. And I forgot his name, but what you're gonna wanna do with this is put it somewhere and leave it not move it around because if I drop this thing it's probably going to shatter. This is very weak. I got cracks. You're going to want to set it somewhere and leave it if you don't have anything on the outside of it like metal. So I would suggest finding empty metal containers and putting it inside the metal. That way if it cracks who cares. It'll stay together for a long time. Anyway. That's what I got. I can I can put my hand on there and leave it. That vermiculite insulates pretty well. It's warm. That's just that's it. It's warm, it's not hot. So overall I think uh, if you're gonna leave it in one place and not move it, it's a success. It'll work. 20% uh, cement, 80% vermiculite. So that's it.